Sunday, everybody, and welcome to Valley Spotlight. I'm Lauren. This is Ray. That's Michael. Yeah, here we are. It's Wholesale Fireworks at their Hubbard location. Right, Ray? That's right. Yeah, yeah. three locations. Correct. Two of them in our viewing area. Correct. Hubbard and Niles. Niles, yes. Show, tell them where the Niles location is. Niles is uh, right on uh, Route 422, right okay. down the street uh, from Grace Church there. Yeah. And, uh, Vernon's and that Vernon's whole, that whole and, stretch. Yeah, that whole section towards yeah. the Family Heights. Well, this is cool to have us here, isn't it? I was going to say, we just we just moved to Hubbard not too long ago. Okay. You didn't even know this. No, I did not. And we've driven past this place probably, I don't know, like 100 times. Right. And everything was closed for so long. And we have a six-year-old and lots of neighbors <laughs> and families and friends. And I'm thinking to myself, as soon as that place opens, we're walking in and Sabina's reaction today is what everybody's reaction is because there's just so much. Right. So much to look at and so much to look forward to. Most definitely. You guys are so busy this time of year, I would <laughs> oh think, gosh. right? Yes, 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 yes. You know, people are getting ready for the fourth. They've been cooped up. You know, and and finally things are starting to open up, and everyone is excited, mm -hmm. and, and and they just want to they just want to do something, and and fireworks is is the obvious answer, I think. And you guys do yeah. a different way of giving it to the public. Yeah, the wholesale prices fireworks, are unbelievable. It's not just a clever name. There's a reason you guys are called that, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, we uh, we have a retail showroom. Like I said, those three locations are retail. You're looking at it. However, we can you can also come in. Anyone can come in off the street, and they can purchase wholesale. In other words, buy the case. You know, so uh, rather than buying an individual item, you get a full case quantity. It's like going uh, to Sam's Club. Yeah. You know, and you're gonna instead of buying two sodas, you're gonna get a 24 pack, and it's at a discounted price. Now you're speaking his language. I know. <laughs> I do like my soda. <laughs> and you do a buy one get one too. We do on all the retail, not okay. the wholesale end, because okay. those prices are already way below retail. They're such a good price. But buy one get one when you come into the store. You don't have to even have to get two of the same item. If you just want one, what we do is we take a 50% discount off at the very end. It allows you to have a lot more variety mm -hmm. um, and you can get a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. What are the rules in Ohio and Pennsylvania now? Have they changed at all? Pennsylvania, they have. Okay. Um, Ohio, no. Okay. Ohio, so you still can't blow them off here in Ohio, correct, right? Okay. Correct. Ohio, you can purchase them, mm -hmm. but you then have to then take them out of state. Okay. Pennsylvania, that, those rules have changed. You can shoot aerials. It used to all be just ground-based items, mm -hmm. uh, your little spinners and fountains, things like that. But now you can have aerials, so anything shoots in the air. Isn't it amazing? Sometimes you see these neighborhood fireworks displays, and you're like, is this the city display? I mean, they're so good nowadays, am I right? Right, and so many different kinds of friends they like to brag to each other oh, about yeah. like you got to come to my display yeah. you got to see what we've got in store yeah. for you folks not that we're you know breaking the law or anything uh, right. but um after all the fireworks that we've seen over the course of our lives you've got to have a favorite right doing this for a living well Do you have a favorite like one that like really is like shock and awe you know they they, they change throughout the years as mm -hmm. technology changes right? as rules and regulations change but we have uh, some great stuff. Uh, we have a new item. Uh, it's uh, it's called it's DF1. That's the, the label. But it's called Willow Beach. Oh my gosh, the willows are huge. Nice, they nice. come down. That's what I'm talking and about. My second, That's my favorite. Yeah, would be a AFW, which is our our brand, uh -huh. and and that would be uh, the D Day. Just big, huge chrysanthemums. Nice, loud, boom. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. That's the ones the that put the dogs underneath the bed for and like a week. And set off car alarm. Yeah, those. <laughs> that's what we're talking about, right? Yes. All right, Ray is going to be here uh, for the rest of the show. We may even catch up with the owner a little bit, too. The staff is waiting there patiently as Thank we get going guys. today. So Thank wonderful. you guys There's for like having us. There's a whole audience here. <laughs> Did you know uh, Neil Armstrong lived in Warren and went to Champion Schools for a little bit? Was I the only one that didn't know that? <laughs> I think I knew that. Well, there's an entire display that commemorates him. And uh, when he talks about one small step, we're talking about the smallest steps when he was six years old. How many people say, I didn't know this was here? Almost 90% of the people that came that stopped by. And they're surprising, they're, they're from Warren and they've been by this place a hundred times. Dan Matthew is right. If you're not paying attention, you might drive right by and not even notice what's next to this McDonald's on Parkman Road. The first flight lunar module stands here. From the very spot, Neil Armstrong took his first flight, not in a spacecraft, in an airplane. This is the actual site where Neil took his first airplane ride. And I asked Neil, if he actually still remembered that moment since it was so many years ago in 1936. Uh, big smile came on his face, he says, as if it was yesterday. 
Dan got to meet Neil Armstrong and ask him all about it when he came to visit the site back in 2005. He was just as answered any questions we had just as graciously. He was uh, spent the whole afternoon and finally the people that he came with said, Neil, we have to go. He, he spent about four hours here. So Armstrong, who was attending champion schools at the time, told him about taking the flight, an impromptu birthday present from his dad, who by all accounts was a little rough on six-year-old Neil. You see, dad demanded perfection, which isn't easy for a six-year-old to do. And they're flying up and down, left and right, and his father's sitting in the back not knowing what's, what's happening. When they landed, Neil had the time of his life, and his father was sick on the dog. And he says, I knew at this time, at that very moment, I wanted to be a pilot because this is what I can do better than my dad. Yeah. From pilot to astronaut, and then the rest is history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. My wife and I, uh, we stayed up to watch the moon landing. It was around 11 o'clock, I think, uh -huh. if I remember right. Couldn't believe it was actually happening, happening, and uh, it was just uh, unbelievable uh, that we were able to, to do that. But Armstrong and his crew did it, and it's commemorated here with this lem, an exact replica, half the size of the original. It's a site that Dan designed close to 20 years ago, and a site that Neil himself approved. He was pleased that we were emphasizing the fact that it wasn't just about Neil, it was more about following your dream as Neil followed his. Warren's Ron Parisi did just that. He became an astronaut and scientist because of Armstrong's success. And everyone associated with the two and the exhibit want to remind kids, if it's your dream to follow in these famous footsteps or somebody else's, you have to try. The people along the way made it possible for Neil. Neil said he wouldn't have been able to do what he, he did had it not been for all these people that helped him along the way. We try to explain to them what the Neil did, and then we tell them to follow their dreams as Neil followed his. Uh, Dan, that Dan Matthews is a wonderful man and wow. super, he's an artist and just really nice. Nice to have us come over. If you'd like to schedule a tour, it's open every single day, but if you'd like to schedule a tour with Dan, you can. Lunar Flight Module and Warren, just Google it. The phone number pops right up. I didn't know all of that. that I didn't know you really could just neat. go any, anytime you wanted really to. Really neat. And thanks to, to Beth Carmichael for setting it up for us. And thank you for you for doing it. It was fun. It was fun. All right. Um, you know, it's the time of year where people are having backyard barbecues. And I don't know if you're tired of, like, potato salad, macaroni salad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just like, all right, mm -hmm. the same old stuff. Let's do something Mark else. Mark Canzanetta has recipes that are, like, wow factor. I ate almost half a bowl of, like, pasta by myself. Oh, can we watch? Wait till you see this. Let's yes. see. week on Valley Spotlight, you saw Mike, he was grilling with Jeff and Chef Mark. He and was. those, I mean, first of all, the rubs that you guys created, we oh, thank cannot you. Thank wait. You. I can't wait to see him. To see what people's reaction will be to using them in their own kitchen. Well, I've been an amateur barbecue guy, and then I was very fortunate to work with Guy Fieri <laughs> and come up with his barbecue Bible for him and his his barbecue team, so the Motley Q. So this is like, you know, if you're thinking it was just an idea that these guys had, no, this is like years and years of oh, all of those years. things to come together and we're very lucky to have been able to feature that but as you move through the summer and you're doing all this grilling, it's wonderful to have some different side dishes. Yeah, that not the are same like, old thing. Right. I, you know, you see macaroni salad, you see potato salad. Well, we're going to do a macaroni salad. It's just going to be a little bit different. But, yeah, when I look at these ingredients, I mean, this is something well, that... Well, some are familiar, but then, you know, the kicker on the macaroni salad is we're using horseradish aioli. So Hello, it's got everybody. a little bit of... 
pump to it. Hello, everybody. It's going to take it back a little bit, but it's not too spicy. I Make know. it as horseradishy as you want. Which way do you want to start? Because I feel right like to left, I left to right. Say, let's, let's start over here because this, 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 this broccoli. So we're going to do a broccoli and kale salad. It's kind of like an old school southern low country soul food. The broccoli carrot raisin salad in kind of a poppy seed dressing. But you know me, I like to flip everything on its corner, on its heel, and try to do it my way. So if you hand me that big bowl, I can and we're just gonna, you're just going to start throwing in ingredients except for the dressing. Can I have the kale first, please? Okay, kale first. So you want to take some kale, get it. You can already get it at your local grocer and just make sure it's clean, sand free, put it in there, tear it into little bite sized pieces. Then we're going to add the broccoli. We actually did just a quick little blanch on this just to take some of the crunch off because we have a lot of crun other crunchy components. Okay. All right, so give me the uh, pomegranate arrows. Look at how beautiful these are. I mean, this is just says summer all over with the pomegranates. Wow. And then we're going to do some Sicilian golden raisins. Do you want all of them? All of them. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I learned my lesson once. Yes. Okay, these raisins. Yes, and you beautiful. want to take the raisins when you get them out of the package, and you want to plump them in a little bit of hot water just so they soften up a little bit. Okay? You so say they come out really nicely because usually when yes. I open up a package of they're, raisins, well, I'm they're like, dried, they're preserved. So the carrots. Okay. And then we're going to get to one of my favorite ingredients. You know me, I love Mexican Southwestern ingredients. Yes, you so do. So we're going to get some toasted pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds. Okay, some toasted pepitas. So we're going to have crunchy, we're going to have soft, we're going to have salty, we're going to have sweet. So all your senses. And then we're just going to use Bistro's apple cider vinaigrette. A little bit of whole grain mustard, apple cider, a little agave nectar. And you just want to pour that in and we want to use the whole thing. Just, just you want to lightly dress the salad because the more you dress the salad, the more it's going to wilt. So and I might need some more, but look at those colors coming together. Just my absolutely love insane. This. this is such a, oh, my mother would love this salad too. Yes. Okay, I'd say just a little bit more. A little bit more? Maybe like two more tablespoons. One, two. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to add some fresh ground black pepper on top of this, some sea salt or some regular salt, it's beautiful. And now we're going to plate this because we're going to be out. Three for me. Sorry. Three for you. Okay. So now we're going to plate this on, you know, of course, our friends over at Steelite Folio, one of their new products that's just come out for buffet lines, for home enthusiasts. You can use this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Kentucky's heat. You can go right out. You can make a stew of this and go right out of the oven onto the serving table with an underliner on it. And I'm just going to cut in front of the camera real quick because you don't want to forget all those beautiful things on top. Oh my just gosh, like that. Mark. Doesn't that look great? Wow, look at that. <laughs> How summery is that? Absolutely And it's going to be delicious. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go next. Okay, what do you want and to do gonna, next? And you're going to do the stirring this time. Okay. Maybe so we're going to do a take on here. your favorite pasta salad in the summer. I love bow ties. I've always loved bow ties. Farfalle in Italian, it means butterflies. So we're going to add that. We're going to pre-cook those to al dente. We're going to take some roasted sweet potatoes. I thought it was chicken for No, a that's roasted sweet. <laughs> chicken wouldn't be bad in there. Some diced red and green peppers. Wow. Some diced red onion. So again, you're getting different textures, different crunches, and I always love scallions. Who doesn't? But now we're going to kick it up with a little bit of that different aioli, and this is a horseradish aioli. So we're going to put, put some of that horseradish aioli in there, and then you're just going to mix it up real well. This is beautiful. And it's delicious as well. Oh my goodness. Am I, am I mixing? I think you're mixing quite well. Am I mixing? Am I mixing? Yes. This is my first time back in Pesto's right. Test here, Kitchen I'll, I'll in a very long time. I'll bring this to you and you pour into here. All right. Really? Yes. Mark? Okay. Here we go. Did I do There's it? no oh, rules, she... Lauren. We haven't had rules since we started oh, the show. Okay. okay, sorry camera. We're out of camera. I'm sorry. Right like, now. Ron's like, Lauren, come on. Nobody <laughs> All right, wants I'll take to that out that. of your hands. Bring that other salad over and now you can taste them both. Look at how beautiful. Now, if you wanted to put this. again, if you want to put something else, your own little spice on top of there, please add anything you want to to that. We have these two beautiful salads. I feel like this is something that, like, if you let it set, the flavors are just going to get better and they better. They are. And you can do this the day before. You don't want to do the green salad right the day before. Even though kale is a very rigid and tough green, you would want that to toss last minute. How is that? Unbelievable. The sweet potatoes, the horseradish, the peppers, the crunch. I think you're gonna like that a lot. So good. And how about this one? All right. Make sure you get a goodie part. I gotta get a goodie part. <laughs> Those are like chef terms, goodie part. <laughs> Explosive, right? I honestly don't know which one I like more. Right. All right. Dieting, not dieting. 
I'll be doing this one for a little while. I'll be honest, my pants don't fit. Mark, absolutely amazing. We'll be right back with a little bit more to it. Well, you weren't kidding. No. Like, you really liked it. No, we're, it's going to be amazing. It is it's on. like really totally different than what we're used to. And wait till you see what he's got in store for the next oh. the next segment a little bit later I'd like on. to see that. It's very, very good. All right, we're going to take our first break. And then when we come back, we have um, a story about uh, a team of ladies who have gathered together to create an online app that's going to change the experience when you go to the doctor. It is remarkable, and we can't wait to share this one with you. River Rock at the Amp is back for 2021. All summer long, we've got the greatest tribute bands around. Visit riverrockattheamp.com for the complete schedule and get your tickets online, at the door, or at the Sunrise Inn in downtown Warren. The Major League affiliated Mahoning Valley Scrappers are back. Bring the family back for buck nights, great giveaways, weekend fireworks, and even more fun than ever. We can't wait to see you. Tickets, sponsorship, info, and more at mvscrappers.com. At RC Compounding, their team of pharmacists specialize in erectile dysfunction therapies that don't have to cost an arm and a leg. It's becoming more and more comfortable to talk about these things. And we're not doctors, but we're pharmacists. But you can call and talk to us and we will tailor something to you. We will reach out to your doctor. We'll collaborate with you, collaborate with your doctor. We compound a specific drug for a specific patient. RC Compounding, we care about your health. Welcome back to Valley Spotlight. We are at Wholesale Fireworks, the Hubbard location, don't forget, all the way up until the 4th of July, except for the 4th of July. They're open from 9 to 7 every single day. Go to their website, wfboom.com. Thanks for letting us come. Thanks for letting us sit in these chairs. Gasser chairs. They brought the chairs out, and I was thinking to myself, we weren't sure what we were going to sit in. And then they brought these things out. They're, They're very nice. so comfortable. They're very nice. They're very, very nice. All okay. right, let's keep going. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you see this. Okay. Okay, you know how you get a text message, and, like, your parents aren't well, or, like, when I was going through mm -hmm. what I was going through, we're on all these different text message lists, and it's hard to keep track of information because yes. you don't even know who's talking. Yes. There is a group of women. They have called themselves Ohana Link, and this is what they have created to solve this problem that we all know we've been through. All right, let's see it. Well, today on Valley Spotlight, we are out here with Kara Wasser in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. We're sitting in the Ohana Link Technologies office. So Kara, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. My goodness, this is quite a story. One that I can say I personally wish I knew about about six months ago, right before, you know, Fred and I went through um, what we went through with my health and our family and keeping people up to date mm -hmm. and making sure that we do it in a timely fashion right. with a lot of care and like authenticity and behind privacy. it. And privacy. Yes. Tell me about Ohana Link and why it's called that and what it does. Because when people hear about this, they're going to say, hmm, that is a really good idea and I'm glad somebody did it. Well, thank you. Um, so Ohana means family. And so we came up with the name Ohana Link because we're bringing families together. Um, and so we um, are linking families together through health related events. So we realized that in the health where her healthcare world, um, there's a lot of disconnection between families and patients um, and a lot of the technology is more focused on connecting patients with the physicians and so that's where Ohana Link comes in to bring families together. Now you don't have a background in creating apps or creating these digital platforms, right? but you were just somebody who had been in the middle of a situation where you weren't getting the information and you weren't sure who you were talking to. Right. I mean, it's a very personal situation when people are in it themselves. It is, and so it was my baby sister that was having a baby and I was disconnected. Um, I live about an hour and a half away from them and I was in town the day that she went into labor but missed a message. Um, actually, I was never sent a text message to let me know that she was in labor. And so it really was just a, a miscommunication and I ended up missing um, you know, being there for the arrival yeah. um, and then was added to these group texts, didn't know who I was talking to and I just felt like it was really impersonal for it being 
my baby sister, you know, that I wanted to be protective of. And so I, I really felt like there needed to be a better way for families to connect and communicate. So Ahana Link gives people the ability to have these conversations digitally, mm -hmm. share the information, whether it's from the healthcare provider's perspective and like link all the people <laughs> together that need to know that information really at the same time. Because... Right. Yeah, so it's like a mobile waiting room um, where you can add your family and friends, you can share updates. The updates are very easy to find. Um, only the admins or the patients can post the updates. So you're not scrolling to right, find what's going on. Um, everybody has the same message at the same time. There's a patient brief in there so you can have the background story posted one time and not having to repeat yourself. Um, and then all the guests are verified so that you know who you're talking to in the room. Now, the place that we're sitting um, is really a spectacular building, a really wonderful environment. I don't mm -hmm. want to leave that out. I know we could hear some air blowers and there's all different kinds of things happening yeah. in this building, but your relationship with these people here is the reason why we're able to offer this to the market, right? Right, yeah, so um, in 2018, I entered a contest here at the E-Center, um, which at that time, I didn't even know I was really starting a business. I just thought I was building an app. Um, but they really helped me change my thinking into taking an idea and turning it into a business and then really um, going national with it. Yeah. It's a big deal, big yeah. deal. Um, we wish you guys and girls and these ladies in technology that we don't see a whole lot of. You guys yeah. are sort of, you know, breaking the rules, if you will, mm -hmm. and, you know, making sure that this company stays here in Hermitage. Yes. Even when some people say that you need to be somewhere else, right? Yeah, so we're really focused on this area, um, just being in the valley, not only our own, you know, ideas and, and such, but really I'm trying to, you know, pave the path forward for the next Kara's that that come. Um, and so our whole team is really focused on uh, not only just Ohana Link itself, but we encourage people to come to us with their ideas and, and let us help you, you know, take it to the next step or try to guide you into into where you need to go next. So that's a huge, huge win. Yeah. Even just being able to say that. So um, for people and maybe healthcare providers, some of our you know, our nurses and the people that watch this show every week, we appreciate you. And if you, if they want to get a hold of you guys, it's pretty simple, right? Yes, you can go to our website at ohanalink.tech um, and they can contact us there. I encourage you to do that. So that way it makes life easier for people like, you know, the patient, that's for sure. Right, so we co-brand the product with physicians, with hospitals, um, OBs for our baby product. Um, so that they can have their brand in the app as well and offer it to their patients. Dr. Economist, you're gonna get a phone call, okay? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kara, yeah, sure. and thank you to your wonderful team. Yes. And once again, Ohana in mm -hmm. Hawaiian means family. O-H-A-N-A, mm -hmm. okay. Ohana Link, so if you have any questions or if you're a medical care provider, I already told some of my doctors about this, mm -hmm. to be able to offer that to their patients would make people's lives a heck of a lot simpler. Very cool. All right, Michael, what's coming up next? Take a gander at this. <laughs> Hey welcome to another edition of Home Advantage. Kelly Warren is here in between all the buying and selling. It's going <laughs> crazy right now. Thank you for taking the time. Of course, thank you. I wanted to know more about condo living. Mm -hmm. We're in a condo here. This we one's are. off North Road, not too far from Trumbull Country Club if you're interested, and it's got a pretty good price. Oh yes. So yeah. the, you want to say it or not? Uh, we're at right around $100,000, 3850 North Woods Can't Court. beat that. Can't beat that. All right, so let's talk about the advantages of having a condo. Yes. Give me one. Uh, low maintenance. Okay. You don't have to cut grass, you don't have to paint things, you don't have to fix anything outside or mm -hmm. do any of that kind of stuff. And I'm sure people have come to you and said, I have too much house, I need to downsize. Yes. That's uh, probably a good good reason too, right? Yeah, many people downsize into a condo, although I've sold some really large condos. They have <laughs> some that are so expensive, like you think to yourself, well, why would I pay this much for a condo when I could pay the exact same amount for a house? Right. But there are advantages and disadvantages to that too. Yeah, uh, the, the low maintenance, the, the community, a lot of times people like the condo living and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, they do have some perks like clubhouses and pools and tennis courts and things like that that um, 
you you know you don't have to have a gym membership if your clubhouse has a little gym in it and things like that so right. um, those benefits and then of course even the outside maintenance you don't have to pay for a full roof replacement when you're paying condo dues on that covers those kind of things when they come up in the future they'll plow the snow they'll put the mulch mm -hmm. to get the weeds out of the mulch and all that stuff yep. right okay but you have to pay these association fees too don't you you do yes and and that basically is a trade-off you know what you would pay somebody in a single family home to come cut your grass and do your snow and if you broke up the cost of a roof over so many months and so many years you know it, it balances out right we've seen the home prices go up have condo prices kind of correlated with the home prices? Yep, right there with them. Is there a reason for that? Or is it just because these are living spaces and that's kind of how it goes? Yep, the market's fantastic. It's fantastic all around. So it, it is both in condos and houses, we're seeing those big jumps. And like you said, some of them, I mean, this is a pretty good size um, floor plan and good yeah. size house too, right? Yes, it is. Um, you know, and even the the condo buyer market has changed a little bit over the years where it used to be a lot of retirees and people downsizing buying condos. We've mm -hmm. got a lot of young professionals buying condos now. They don't want to throw money away on rent. They want to own something, but they don't want to be home on the weekends cutting grass. Right. This seems like there's more single people out yes. there, single parents and then single people that have waited to get married. All right. Let's give them the, uh, the phone number on the website and have people get a hold of you guys if they want to look at a condo like this one or someplace else. Yep. Yeah, you can find this one or any condo for sale online at Kelly's Sold it.com. You can give me a call or a text at 330-717-2689 to schedule a showing or to sell yours. Two locations now, the one in Boardman and then the new one here in Howland. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. I think condo is the way to go for me eventually. I was going to say, I see him in a condo. I've done a lot of yard work. Less work. You have a, you do yard work at like four people's I know, houses, it seems like. I know. Like. I'm tired of it. So that'll be nice for me. <laughs> All right. Let's take a little break. When we come back, we'll tell you more. We've done a lot on revitalization of downtown Warren. Yes, we have. There's another step and then another step after that. You'll have to see what these two brothers are doing after this break. For over 80 years, Cafe 422 has been the Valley's premier destination for steaks, seafood, and fine Italian cuisine. Join us every Wednesday for our prime rib, only $19.99. Cafe 422 in Warren and Boardman. Well, Ducat not only sells the product, but we service them. We have parts and service support for every machine that you buy at Ducut. Um, you are purchasing a machine, it's eventually going to break or need work, and we are here to do that. Uh, you don't get that from an online sale or a mass merchant. They just don't have the ability to have the parts and the service. We send our mechanics to school every year. We have two Briggs & Stratton master service technicians. There are not many in the country, probably less than 5,000 in the country, and we have two at Ducut. And we also have gold certified steel mechanics uh, and numerous certifications in parts and service for, for every brand that we carry. So let yourself go to do cut. Let yourself go to do cut. Me is a company that produces products that are made out of Himalayan sea salt. I have a love affair with Himalayan sea salt. And as an ear, nose, and throat doctor, the most important thing for me is that the products are going to be effective and that they're going to be safe for patients. So I make products that help sinus conditions and I make products that are going to be good for the skin and good for the body. And all of them are made of Himalayan sea salt. To Valley Spotlight, as you all know, if you've been watching our show on any regular basis, you know that Steel Light and everything that they do is one of the big cornerstones of what we do on this show. That's and true. we like to put the spotlight 
on uh, local restaurants and eateries and really anything that has to do with food, thanks to them. And wait till you see this concept. It's starting small right now, but it's going to get bigger and bigger. And if you love local music or any music, you're going to love this. Today's Perfectly Plated takes us to downtown Warren. So we decided to give it a shot here. So far, it's been going pretty well. After about 25 years in advertising and marketing in New York, Jerry Deedle is back in his hometown of Warren, and he's side by side with his brother, Matt. Do you love it? I, so far, so good. I do love it. It gets a little hot in here, but other than that, it's, it's awesome. They spend their days inside of this food truck. It's called South Street Tacos here on 422, or the official name of this stretch of road, South Street. You see what's going on, and there's always a line out here, so it's uh, been picking up every time. What are people saying when they get your food, see you, and all that good stuff? Well, they, they say they're the best tacos they've ever had. It's been through the roof. I, I'm surprised. I knew it would do okay, but it's been great. Every day we do uh, better and better. As, as the word gets out, we're on a very, very busy part of 422 South Street. What did they know about Mexican cooking or culinary technique? Not much, but they knew to ask for help. And that was kind of our soft opening. We kind of just wanted to trickle out there. My brother and I are doing a lot of the cooking. So with uh, help from some uh, Mark Cantonetta, it gave us some, some good uh, tutelage. But we wanted to soft open it, and that's what we've been doing. And now things are really starting to pick up. A great recipe and a little hard work got it started. And that's just the beginning of what the Deedle Boys want to do. This part of uh, downtown Warren reminds me a lot of a place in Brooklyn. It's kind of an industrial, uh, an old industrial part of town. And it's called Bushwick. And that's why we're calling the bar behind us Bushwick. Bushwick won't just be a typical bar and restaurant type of place. If music is your jam, you're going to love this fresh concept. Uh, we just we want music going all the time. As a matter of fact, the kind of a rule that we have is as soon as we get here, the first thing we do is turn on the music. So music will always be playing here. It might just be this speaker right now blasting the tunes, but just wait, this attached building will be rocking. And this layout right here, there's uh, gonna be a stage at the, the far end, which is over here. And there's gonna be a 50 foot bar right on this wall right here. Basically, we've got our own food truck that attaches to the bar. Then we'll have spaces for um, additional food trucks that are owned by different people that can come. And we work out a little arrangement with them and we, we basically welcome them to be part of our busy bar. And they help us, you know, entertain people with different types of food. Food truck's gonna be on the other side of this wall. So you're gonna walk by it. Uh -huh. If you wanna order your food, if you're in a hurry, you can order your food and come in, have a drink, relax, and then go if you want, or you can stay for quite some time. So it's good, fresh food, it's music and fun, and have a drink while doing it? Sounds like a winning formula. The same kind of vision that's bringing the city of Warren back. I do think there's a resurgence happening in Warren. Everybody's talking about it. We're seeing we're, we're, we're seeing signs of it everywhere. We're gonna reclaim it and clean it up, and that's uh, it's gonna be a good place. You guys are gonna like it. South Street Tacos, not too far, just probably a block south of Sunrise. Uh, if you're interested, pop by, get in line because it's really crowded. Really? And this next thing yeah. they're doing, uh, Christopher Allen donated some wood from the old Packer plant. Oh, it's going to be neat. really, really neat. So a couple of months. They say they're going to be done in a couple of months. We'll see. We love to see our friends in the restaurant industry expanding and doing great things. Yep. You know what else we love? Mark. Right. Just like those guys. And like a strawberry shortcake mixed with a cheesecake. What do you think about that? I'd get on board with that. Okay, yeah. check it out. Well, we did some wonderful side dishes. These they are came out amazing, didn't they? Between now and like when we were just filming, I ate half the bowl. That's okay. That's okay. It's Which one? The healthy one or the unhealthy one? The unhealthy one. <laughs> the unhealthy one, of course. But well, you can make that healthy to a point. You know, they have a lot of great new pastas out there that are made out of different, whether they're made out of legumes or whatever. 
I don't eat that. I, okay. want, I, want, I want it just like that. It's, it's kind of hard not to eat pasta the real way. Just looking at this corn and these plates, you don't even need to do anything to it. Well, the Kraft Green Apple, the color profile this is going to have when we're all done, it's just a gorgeous plate. So Again, beautiful. Again, just highlights the food, makes the food even look better. It looks like we actually grilled the plate to match the right. corn. Right, I was going to say, it's like they made it to be matched perfectly with exactly. um, your new version of the elote. You know me, elote, Mexican food, you know, I'm, I'm huge on it. So I wanted to do, maybe people don't like the Mexican ingredients. So we figured we'd... So I'm going to do an American version okay. of it. And so we're going to take this corn that I actually, you can fire grill it or you can deep fry it. I deep fried this because I wanted it to taste like a little bit of popcorn. Okay. okay, so now we're just gonna liberally baste that with ranch dressing that we make here at Bistro 1907. Go ahead and brush, do a little okay. painting. Okay. Just get it all over, make it happy. We get to paint at home with Bean Bean and then we get to paint at Bistro. She's gonna be sad she missed this <laughs> Yeah, today. she will be. Well, we'll have to have Sabina eat the world again. Yeah, so you know? she would eat this well, like... On my next trip, I'm gonna bring her back some really cool candy. Sounds good. All right, good. so now I'm gonna take our barbecue dust, our St. Louis red, okay. and I'm just gonna liberally dust that on top of it just like that, and you can go ahead. The higher up, the better it spreads on the product. Oh. You don't have unevenness. Oh. So the higher the dust, <laughs> higher the dust. Yeah. Okay, now. <laughs> I'm gonna kick it up with some chives. You can use scallions, green onions, if they're right out of your garden. It'll be amazing. A little bit of green onion on there. And then oh. because everything's better with what? Bacon? Bacon, baby. We're gonna put some bacon lardons on top of that oh corn. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna go a little crazy on mine because I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna put a little bit of spicy barbecue on top of it and that's gonna be mine and we're gonna do a taste off. Okay. Hold on, I gotta put a lot of bacon on there. A lot of bacon. I gotta put a lot of bacon Look on there. Look at that. Oh, baby. Now, Look there's a lot. This. So, this is American barbecue grilled corn, uh, deep fried corn. <laughs> okay? I shouldn't be this excited about it, but uh, I am. I'm excited about it. All right, you ready? All right, I'm gonna give it a taste. Okay. You ready? Uh huh. Three, right. two, one. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> you look good. You look better. <laughs> you look good, man. This, this is, is so, so unbelievably good. Mark. The ranch, the dill in the ranch, the spices in the ranch, and then the barbecue dust, and then the bacon crumbles. I think we just hit a home run. Are you still talking? I think I'm still talking. I okay. think I, my mom would say, wipe your mouth. But barbecue There's is no supposed point. to be messy. There's no point. There's no problem gonna... when you eat barbecue. You just get in there with two hands, two feet. You hanker up, you take a bite. And it's delicious, isn't it? Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers, everybody. Oh, we're gonna have more on this um, lovely uh, cheesecake. Just don't forget knee high, 4th of July, and then we're gonna have some beautiful local corn from right here in the Mahoney Valley. So good, we'll be right back with more, and I'm gonna wipe my face, I promise. <laughs> Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. I'm constantly asked by news sources how to best navigate today's real estate market. I call the brightest agents in the business to get their input. Hi Kelly, what's going on in the Mahoney Valley area? Hi Barbara, the market in the Mahoney Valley has remained strong. I'm so happy to hear that. Sellers are enjoying the safety of the guaranteed sold program and buyers and sellers love the 3D tour and the free moving truck. Get the best advice from my friend Kelly Warren. Go to kellysoldit.com. Be safe and smart. Pets are part of the family, and at RC Compounding, their pharmacists make your pet a priority. Pain management is a big one with animals, especially if they have cancer or like end of life. They're unable to take tablets or capsules, and we're able to customize it into a solution that an owner could administer um, pretty easily without, you know, difficulty of having them swallow a tablet or capsule if they're not able to. RC Compounding, we care about your health. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. Bistro 1907 is a classic yet unique American bistro. This space lets us immerse ourselves in history. The dishes are inspired by our past but have a modern twist. Bistro 1907 by Mark Canzanetta is unlike any place else. Find out why. I'm Mark Canzanetta, and I welcome you to Bistro 1907. Well, as 
promised, I wiped my face off <laughs> and uh, Mark, through the magic of television, made two more of those lovely Elote ears of American corn. Elote. American Elote. So you have it's on the new menu, I hope. It's not gonna be on the new menu, but we are gonna do that. I think we should do a companion piece to the elote. One American style and you one Mexican style. You have to do it. I think so. If you ask mm. for it, well, you'll you'll well, know that they they're watching. You're gonna know when we start right. running corn because our friends out at Molnar Farms, and you mm -hmm. know how much we love our friends we out at do. Molnar Farms. In my opinion, the best corn in the world. Yes, I said it right here on In the Test Kitchen. Molnar Farms has the best corn in the world. It's only Sorry, everybody else. <laughs> Lutz isn't selling it this year, so we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> oh, and Lutz was phenomenal. <laughs> he worked very good. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah. All right, we're going to go back to your childhood. One of your favorite desserts ever was? Well, mom growing up, you know, we had that pistachio thing that we used to eat <laughs> when we were kids, like, what was it called? It was a like strawberry a strawberry shortcake. No, no, pistachio like parfait or something like that. Oh, you're very lucky. I didn't have any that. I well, you're it. also in Chicago. <laughs> so, secondly, strawberry shortcake. Whether it was my mom's house, my mom and dad's house, my grandmother's on both sides. You know, my grandmother, uh, they grew their own strawberries, so that was even more of a, a slice of heaven. So, our pastry chef Matt. What he did was he took what everybody's favorite dessert is, cheesecake. Yeah, baby. And then he put homemade shortcake on top of it infused <laughs> with a homemade strawberry preserves. Okay. This is like a heightened, yeah, this elevated is a, level of yes, strawberry it is. So okay. We're going to take some vanilla bean whipped cream, and you know, vanilla bean and whipped cream just in heaven with those two things. And we're just going to drape that because you cannot have enough whipped cream with dessert, right? Look at how Especially when that it's homemade. Is. And if you want to put the strawberries on top, put the strawberries I feel like on top. I just want you to do it. Okay, because I I'm going like to do this. Gonna ruin you it. are not. I feel like I you am. You are not. So we're just going to put the strawberries, and that's going to ooze that dollop of whipped cream all over it. Is this on the new menu? Uh, we're serving this currently. We're oh serving this currently. Gosh, and just Mark. a little fresh mint, and mint surrounded my home growing up because my mom brought it home from grandma's mm -hmm. house. So when you cut the grass on the side of the yard, it smelled so good. And it's a really good way to freshen up your bottle of water. Yeah. And getting back to our friends at Steel Light, this brand new plate by Maham just sets the food off unbelievably. She's a talented, talented artisan, and it's amazing to see Steel Light take all of these talents from around the world and then we get to understand not just their story if you follow them on social media sure but then to be able to see these chefs that we work with so closely you know it all comes together and it's like the magic minds of yes. the world coming yeah. to and, you make know, this just, happen. Again, distress you know you have this artisan plate that has the durability so to it perfect. and plus as a food server when you're grabbing as a food server because it's terracotta you have that little rough edge on the yeah. bottom and you can really really walk around with it easily but look how beautifully that shows. Mark, but this is one of the new things we're featuring. And you have a new menu and people we do are have a new always menu. so excited to see Wait till that. you taste the new waffle. A mac and cheese waffle, Frico style, fried chicken on top, spicy barbecue sauce, and our famous Ikema coleslaw. Did you make that just for Fred? I think I did. did Fred's, you make Fred's it like my Freddy? waffle. He's like him and Snoop Dogg, I think, are kindred souls because yeah. they both love fried chicken and waffles. Yes. I don't think there's a fried chicken and waffles in this entire area that Fred hasn't tried or chicken sandwich, but wow. I have to admit, uh, yours are phenomenal. And if you put some mac and cheese, you put mac and cheese in the waffle? Mac and cheese. So we put cheddar cheese down on the waffle iron, mac and cheese on top of that, more cheddar cheese, and then we smash it down, and then it gets bubbly, happy, and crispy. Crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside. I don't even know what to say. What else is on this new menu that There's we're so excited things. about? We'll see. We're coming out. Again, you know, the crab avocado salad. But we also have a new, for everybody that's thinking of eating healthier, that likes lighter things, we have a wonderful, wonderful salmon burger. Oh, exciting. Yeah, it's a salmon burger on brioche with frise, and it has a, a wonderful um, pine, toasted pineapple marmalade on top of it. It's really, really good. You know Sabina Rosalina. She'll be eating that in yes. minutes. Um, always b Star 907 right here in downtown Youngstown. Uh, follow Mark online. He is always doing something. So we try. You are uh, a gift to us here on Valley Spotlight. Uh, no, no, Valley. I'm, no, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. <laughs> And I'm blessed that I have the team behind me in the, in the kitchen that makes yeah. me look so good. They are pretty great people. Oh my goodness. Oh look me, at this. Oh me, oh me, look oh my. Look at the size of this. Cheers. Right, cheers. The top of it brings you back to a picnic that you we all had. I can't even believe this. And then the cheesecake, just the creaminess binds it all together. Uh-huh. My God. Mm. So good. I know.
Let's have a food fight with this. Papa Cantonetta's Peppers, recipe established in 1975. A family secret is now yours to share with the people who add spice to your life. Choose from mild and hot versions, plus our famous original blend too. They're the perfect punch for any dish, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've got the recipes to prove it. Just follow us on Facebook, order online at papacans.com and pick your peck. Papacans.com, order six jars or more and qualify for free shipping. We like it hot. We're glad you do too. Beauty Best Cafe, home of Uncle Nick's Greek Fried Chicken. Sunrise Inn, home of award-winning pizza. Weston, Maine. Come check out our poutine. Mocha House Cafe and Eatery. The famous California cheesecake. Charbonnet's Wine on the River, famous for our great wine and our charcuterie. Jack Steakhouse, famous for our cowboy ribeye. Modern Methods, famous for our craft beer. Cheers to Downtown Warren. Shop Hills in the Liberty, Lincoln Dolls, and Borman Plaza, Youngstown, and the Ridgeview Plaza in Warren, and the Hills location in Champion, all open 10 till 10 daily. And it really all started with salt, with Himalayan sea salt. That's where it all started, because of a patient who came in and told me about the benefits of salt therapy, which is inhaling uh, Himalayan sea salt, an aerosolized Himalayan sea salt. And I found that my patients were having fantastic results using salt therapy, and I wanted to know how could I incorporate the Himalayan sea salt into products that would benefit the sinuses and the skin. And that's where Salt Me was born. For over 25 years, Rachel's Restaurant has been known for our award-winning cuisine and relaxing atmosphere. Our surf and turf's a valley favorite, and like everything else on our menu, is prepared from scratch with the freshest ingredients. Rachel's Restaurant, Austin Town. Welcome back to Valley Spotlight. I almost, I cut you off. No, it's okay. I wanted to say welcome back to Wholesale Fireworks, too. Oh, right. Hubbard location, right on, uh, what are we on, 62, just south of 80, and then at they the have uh, Hubbard another, exit. They have another location in Niles. Yeah, so and Canton, too, if you go that way. What's the website, Mike? I know you want to say it. WFBoom.com. <laughs> All right, let's get to this, because okay. now we're running behind. Right. All right. So coming up in just a few weeks, we're talking about a car showdown. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Camaros versus Mustangs. Oh, uh, Ford and Chevy. Somebody's going to win, and it's not just Angels for Easter Seals. It's beautiful summer nights like this that we have been waiting for for not just this past year, but for like two years now. We are out here at Quaker Steak and Lube in Austin Town. We have John Keitlinger from the Mahoning Valley Mustangs. John, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lauren. It's and welcome to Valley Spotlight. Well, thank you. I was gonna say you've got you've got the ambassador right here. I see that. <laughs> we are out here on a Sunday, and you guys, you know, the car enthusiasts of the valley. This is a, a very, um, very welcomed comeback, if you will. Right? I think you're right, yeah. And your club specifically on what, Saturday? Saturday, June 19th. Is having a huge show, know, right? right? Where it's going to be two different types of cars. Right. This is a special one, right? Right. It's called the Mustang Camaro Showdown. <laughs> so you can guess what kind of cars are there, right? Mustangs and Camaros. Yeah, and we've got a lot of folks here in the valley that drive those religiously and keep them looking so good. And there's a really special reason why you guys are bringing all of these people together. And you guys are raising money for one of the places that's near and dear to our hearts on this show, that's right. for sure. Sorry, Beanie. All right, yep, we try to raise money. And this year, our charity, which has been for the last 13 years, is for Angels, Angels for Easter Seals. And there's a lot of different ways that you guys are fundraising for this. So, that's, I mean, correct. it's really easy to give to a cause that needs it, especially our nonprofits right now after the year we've had, trying to help any way we possibly can. You guys are making it pretty fun, right? Right, we're making it fun. We're making a registration. When you come in, you can register your Camaro, your Mustang. We're doing a basket raffle. We're doing a 50-50 auction. 
and then we have trophies. We're having eight different trophies, and you can even come and, and vote for a trophy. If you want to vote for your car to win, you could put every vote cost a dollar. You could put five hundred dollars down and probably win yourself a trophy. What kind of trophy are we talking? Like a like a big tall? Like I a think big... they're like three foot tall. Oh, that's a pretty good yeah, size pretty trophy, nice right? Trophy. To me, no, a trophy that's the size of my daughter. I'll <laughs> take that every day. But uh -huh. you guys, that's coming up. But every Sunday throughout the summer. This is a really well attended event out here and you guys have it for the families and not just car enthusiasts. This is for the whole family, right? Yeah, it is. A lot of people out here tonight. What is it about being in a car club that you like the most, John? I think it's people. Yeah. Just meeting the people, having fun. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to say and uh, we're happy that Ooh. Sabina's had her first car show with you folks. So there you go. thanks for inviting us. Well, thanks for coming. If anybody wants to get more information about how to join your car club or they yep. want to come out and they bring theirs, what's the best way to get a hold of you guys? Um, the best way to get a hold of us is MahoningValleyMustangs.org. Okay. And we have a website. Very good. Um, and my name's listed on there as the president of the club. So they can give me a call. Just my call phone John. on there. He okay, picks up the phone whenever. Yeah, I'll That's call, how many I'll times we call, right? <laughs> Trade anybody. All right, John, take care, okay? And Thank happy you. summer. Thank you. You too. The showdown is happening on June 19th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. out there at the Quaker Steak and Lube in Austin Town. And remember, you can vote for each car for a dollar. We wish them the best of luck. Lots of fun stuff out there. All right, through the magic of tele television, we're going to send it out to Angelus Farm Market. Well, like the Beatles used to say, strawberry fields forever here at Angeli's Farm Market. And uh, we're here with Carl. Did you like that? I yeah, that's pretty good. good. Yeah, that's good. pretty good. That is real good. It is strawberry season, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. And it, it doesn't last super long. No, we started um, last day in May, 1st of June. And it lasts, if we get three weeks out of strawberry season here on the farm at Angeli's, we are doing great. Yeah. How, how are we doing? How was the weather? What the strawberries like and how was our weather for it? Well, the weather was, uh, it was a challenge because it was real cold there in April when we had that 24 degree weather mm -hmm. and it damaged some of the earlier varieties. And then the week, the days after Mother's Day, we had frost every day. So we had to come out here and cover the fields with large blankets. We call them row cover huh. to protect the blooms because they were full bloom and um, we wanted to have a strawberry crop. So we came out and uh, covered these strawberries for about five, six straight days until the frost was completely gone. Uh -huh. And then they just flourished. They got some uh, rain and some good weather and they are ready to be picked. Yeah, take a look at this. You can, you can come a little bit closer if you want to. I didn't realize that there are different varieties of strawberries and there's a reason for that, right? Yeah, so this field here is, we've got 25,000 strawberry plants out here and we have six or seven varieties. Okay. So we can start picking May 1st of June and try to get all the way three good weeks, you know, till the end of June. Really, uh -huh. that's and sometimes we'll get four weeks, just depends on what the weather wants to do. Is there a variety that people know or that is really popular here in this part of the state? Um, so the, the early variety, which is very popular, people seem to like, even though it's a little smaller, it's called Early Glow. Okay, that's a it's an old variety that's been around and has probably the best flavor of, out of all the varieties, and it's it comes on first. Okay. If I pick a, a pint of strawberries, do I look for the reddest ones right away or will those green ones turn red or what should I do? So homegrown strawberries, we pick them that day or the night before for you to buy the same day or in the next day. So okay. we pick them ripe, try to go for the riper berries because they have more flavor. They're not, you know, we don't like to pick them on a the green side. We like to try to keep them red and they're the best. Okay. Last question. I get this, I eat about half of it. What do I do to keep the rest as, as good as I can do for the next day or a couple days after? I would suggest just wash them all at once and then whatever you don't eat, just cut them up and put them in a bowl and cover them and put them in the refrigerator. There you go. Don't leave them in the court. You don't need to come out and pick these strawberries. These guys will do it for you. And Julie's Farm Market right here on 46, just south of the fairgrounds on the right-hand side. And if you look left, you'll see the strawberry fields over your left-hand shoulder. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, thank you. Good job. All right. All right. It's time to eat strawberries.
All right, don't forget to check out Ann Julie's Farm Market right there on 46 in Canfield. And people have been asking, are they going to have the sunflowers again? Remember the sunflowers? And, yes. and the answer is yes. yes. So if you're wondering, put it on your calendar. It's going to happen in August. Can you believe how many people showed up for that? No. You don't know this, but we had yeah. about like thousands of people show up at a sunflower field that we had on our show. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It was amazing. I love sunflowers. Almost as pretty as fireworks. Almost as beautiful. Almost as beautiful. Is it hard? <laughs> Everything, COVID, you can't get this, you can't get that. Is it hard to get fireworks? You know what? It, it, it is. And and what you've, if people have heard that there is a shortage, and, and the, it's true. There is. That and ketchup. That, right? No Chicken kidding. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> but it had to do with, with production uh, issues in China long uh, you know, during COVID. Right. And then from there, it was some shipping issues. And uh, it's just kind of escalated a little bit. But we have product. Yeah. And, and we're here, and we are shelves are stocked and uh, we're ready for you and you guys have some really neat I, we love seeing like the <laughs> names like of these pounds. things yeah what is yeah. yours mike the spirit of spirit liberty. of liberty that's what it is what she do you looks have? good on there i have calls for applause, for applause. <laughs> and you got what the gunslinger oh yeah the gunslinger the gunslinger mm -hmm. which i would imagine this sounds like gunshots well i guess <laughs> yes yeah. sort of. uh, but those are uh, canister shells and those that's considered a reloadable and uh, you got uh, 24 shells in that kit, and then you load each one in the tube, shoot them individually. So even these are buy one, get one? Yes. Or, for, yes. Really? Yes. Oh, that's a good way to save money. Do yes. people wait until the 4th of July to shop for fireworks? Oh my gosh. It, it's like- They it, don't, they're, really? They're, yes, it's like their day. You know, like Black Friday, their really? special event. Do, are there special yeah. prices that day? Because it's the last day? No, or it's, it, you know, we just do buy one, get one free uh -huh. every day, okay. all year round. And then that way it's fair to everybody. And you know, um, But I would suggest shopping early. Because, uh, like Doesn't I said, hurt. there is a little bit of a shortage, and uh, you know we've got people coming in that, that have already got their fireworks for this year, and uh, they're we're, they're starting to. And think about it, like if the, okay, I'm, not, yeah. I'm the kind of person that if I came in and like mm -hmm. Fred and I bought this, we would want to do it immediately on Friday night, and we would be completely out. Then you'd by be out. The of oh, yeah. We'd be uh -huh. out, and then I'm we'd sure be the happens. people that would have to come and like hope and pray that for the party we were having on the fourth, that there would be something here. Yeah, it that happens every sense. year. It makes sense. Every totally makes sense. year. I'll be like, hey, good to see you guys again. I'm again. Like, I know, we couldn't wait. We shot everything off last night, and, and we're back for more. <laughs> okay. It happens, I'm telling you. I buy a dollar for every time I heard that. <laughs> give them the... <laughs> give them the locations, Sorry. give them the hours, and give them the way to find out about you guys. Okay? Very good. Yes, we are located, our three retail showrooms are in uh, Hubbard, mm -hmm. so Niles, mm -hmm. North Canton. We are open seven days a week, mm -hmm. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, starting June 25th, I believe, we go 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. And then you can check out all of our stuff on our website. We have video, too. That's awesome. So if you want to see it before you buy it, wfboom.com. WF Boom. WF Boom. All right. Boom thanks for baby. having us. Oh, it's glad to have you right? here, man. This is awesome. Yeah, and Very thanks fun. for watching Valley Spotlight. All our platforms are ready to go. People they can watch are. anytime you they want. You can download the Roku channel. You can watch at valleyspotlight.com or the WBCB. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're all over the place. And we've gotten so many different story ideas from people mm -hmm. out there over the last couple of weeks because yeah. now we're able to get back out there. So keep them coming. We really enjoy the creativity and getting to know our community that much better. We've got new stuff coming this year, too. Yep. Thank you for all the stories and thanks for watching. Retro Marshall, my brother and I used to play with the Zim Zam. If you don't know what it is, you're going to love this. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>